Hello ladies. How's everyone doing today? I have my little girl here because we're gonna do a little tag with her. I wanted to do the never have I ever tag that has been going on that I I seen a couple people done it. And I wanted to do it really quick. But while we do the tag, we're going to be fitting little Skylar. And she's wearing her little outfit today. It's so cute. I love how it looks on her. Especially right now during the winter time. It just makes her look so cute. You look so comfy and warm. It's it's getting cold here. Yeah, we're getting the cool weather. Finally. <laughs> And she just looks too cute in this outfit. It is by the brand Jessica Sensum. And it has, it is newborn size and then it has a little moon here. It says little moon. And it's like a wincy with a shirt. So it looks like a shirt but it's a wincy. And then it came with the little pants. And then she's wearing this little bows. Did it, I got in a set from Koala Baby. And they had a little bracelet made by Auntie Kim. And she's just wearing her tennis shoes. So she looks very warm and comfy, huh, Mama? But we're going to fit her a bottle. And while we fit her a bottle, we're going to do the tag. And she's going to be using her little bottle that we got that day. The little booth bottle, which I love. It's my favorite bottle now. I used to love the tummy TP, I think they're called. But now I just love this one so much. So while we do the tag, which I have my questions written down here, I'm going to read them while we do the tag and feed her while we do that. Because it's time for lunch. It's lunchtime. We just had a meet up with Carmen at the park and it was really nice. And I'm going to leave her Instagram down below because she made an Instagram today so everybody can go show her some love. <laughs> so the first question says, never have I ever keep the same outfit on a reborn for more than two weeks. And that one, I will have to say I have. And, but no more than two weeks. It's just been two weeks. <laughs> the reason why, and it was recently, I kept it on Sebastian for so long. Because I love how the outfit look on him, first of all. The first weeks, so I just leave, leave the, the outfit on him. And then... The second time, man, the second week, it was because I got really busy at work. That's when the other girl left. So we just got really busy that I didn't even get a chance to do anything. So that's the reason why I have done that before. But it has not happened to me again, and it won't happen. I hope so. I hope it doesn't happen again. You okay, Mama? Yeah. Second question. Never have I ever spent over a hundred dollars on baby clothes in one haul. Okay, with that one, I have to say I have not. I have, I have never, never have. And the reason being is just maybe if you combine two hauls together, I have spent a hundred dollars or even more than that, but not in one haul. And the reason that being, it's just um, usually when I go out shopping. I don't shop just for the Reborns. If I was going out shopping just for the Reborns, I will probably spend $100 or more on it. If I'm out shopping, especially just for them. Like, I'm going to go, you know, on a mission and just buy clothes for them. Usually, I go and I buy clothes for the Reborns, like an outfit or two. I buy stuff for me. I buy stuff for my nephew. I buy stuff for my friends or my family. So, I never just go specifically for the Reborns. I just go out shopping and buy just everything in general. And if I see an outfit I like for the babies, I'll get it. Or if I see two or whatever I see, I will get it. But that's the only reason why I haven't spent $100 in one haul. But I mean, if one day I decide, which I hope I soon I do, just go buy stuff for the Reborns, I'll probably end up spending 100 or more and just clothes for them. But that's because I'm going specifically to buy things for them. Are you still doing okay, Mamash? That's if I'm just going for them. But I usually just go out shopping in general. <laughs> Third question. Never have I ever fast forward through 
through a box opening video to get to the big reveal. And that one, I think most of us have said, I have. I have done that before. I just get really impatient and I want to see the baby. I, you know, I really want to see what baby was called. You know, that's the reason why we're all watching the box opening because we want to see the new baby. So I have, but I will go back after I'm done. After I go to the last minute just to, even I don't even do the, the blinker. I just go forward through it to see the baby. And then after I see the baby they get, I go back and watch the whole video because I love to see the the stuff they get. It's so exciting to see them opening their goodies and get all excited. So I always go back and watch the whole video. But usually I will I'll fast forward through that. Okay, let me get you clean here. And then we'll go back to the questions, Mama. You're done. You were a good girl. Let's just burp you really quick. There you go. What a good girl. You are such a good girl, Mama. You drink your milk. And she drank most of it, you guys. So she was a good girl today. You did good, Mama. You did good. Are you going to go to sleep or are you going to keep just saying hi and watching everyone here? I think she's going to stay with us still. Okay. So, yeah, I will go back to the video and watch the whole box opening, but I will fast forward to the end to see the baby and then go back. Okay, the fourth fourth question. Never have I ever fit to a friend or a family member how much one of my reborn costs. That one, it's hard because I don't know if I should say I have or I have never. Because I don't, I mean, I don't go telling them how much I spend on the babies, but I know if they ask me how much my baby costs or how much do I pay around for, for one of the babies, I do tell them I don't hide it. I don't go, oh, I don't hide how much it costs me, like, I, but it's not like I'm going and telling them, oh, you know, I paid this much for this baby or this, I don't do that. But if they ask me, oh, how much do you pay for this baby or, you know, I will tell them, yeah, for this one I pay this much, and then this one I pay this much, and I will tell them. And if people ask me, like a friend that wants to get one, and they ask me how much, how much they cost, I will give them how much they start from and how much they go to if they ask me. But So that's the tough question. I don't know if I should answer I have or I have never. That one I would just have to leave it as, I don't know, <laughs> just because... Like I said, if they ask me, I'll tell them, but how much I pay or how much it costs. Or sometimes I don't even tell them, like, how much, really. Sometimes I kind of lie, and I said I paid less than what I paid. Just, you know, because maybe they'll, they'll, I don't know how will they react. But I, but afterwards, I just tell them how much they, you know, the price range they run for. And then I'll tell them how much about I pay for mine. <laughs> If they ask me, I, I do tell them. I don't hide it. I don't try to, like, but I don't try to be like, yes, I pay this much, and no. But if I'm asked, I will tell them. Okay, fifth question. Never have I ever tried to pass a reborn as a real baby. That one, I will say I have. I think we all have. And the reason being because we all love the realism them on this babies. And the time when I do that is especially when people ask me how old they are and I try to tell them it's a doll and they're just like, oh yes, she's that doll, she looks so cute, she's that love, she looks like a lovely doll. And then they ask me again, how old is she? And that's when I just give up and I just tell them, oh, she's one month, she's two months. I don't, so I have tried to do that. And also one time with my husband, we went to, I believe we went to Target or Walmart and I had Mateo with me in the car. And we took him down, and I have him in my arms, but I have him, like, bundled in there where you cannot really see him. And one lady asked me um, how old he was because he was so tiny. So I just told her he was one month old, that I just, that I was a new mom, that I just barely had had him. She was like, oh, how cute, he seems so small, that's adorable. 
she didn't really look in there to see how he looked, but we just told her that. And so, yes, I have tried to pass the baby a reborn as a real baby, but I think that's, that's the reason sometimes we have them because they, you know, they're so realistic. They're really pretty dolls that they can be passed as a real baby, huh, Mamash? Because to me, you, you, you look so real. You are so cute. So to me, she's my little baby. And even when we went to Katrina, you know, when we took Skylar, you know, we passed her as a real baby. We're like, this is our baby. How much? Okay, sixth question. Never have I ever changed a re... Okay, so the sixth question, sorry about that. So the rest of these questions are questions Yvonne and Crystal came out with to extend the tag, which I'm going to do them. So the question, the first question they came out with was, Never have I ever changed a reborn in a public restroom. I would say I have never. I haven't got a chance to do that. Maybe one day with me and Ivana are out for an outing. We'll do it together. Because we go out <laughs> a lot. So we'll probably end up doing something like that. Next time we go somewhere, we'll change one of the babies, huh? In one of the public restrooms. But so far as now, I have never. Seven question. Never have I ever purchased a baby item I forgot I I already own. That one I will say I have never. I'm good at keeping track of what I have. Usually I'm good at that. And because usually if I see something that I like and I go towards that thing, it's because I have never seen it before or I don't really have it, so I want it. So I have never purchased an item twice. And if I purchase two items, which I know I have done, it was when I have Frida and Valentina because I want to dress them as the same. But that's the only time I have purchased that thing that is the same. But that was on purpose. It's not like by accident. So I have never. Okay, so the eighth question. Never have I ever hidden the fact that I got a reborn from my significant other. That one I would say I have. <laughs> and... The reason being is because when I first started buying the babies, I just start buying a lot. And, like, I wasn't selling a baby and then buying one. I was just buying and buying. And the one, the baby that I had for my significant other, and if he watches this video, he probably already knows the truth, but, you know, he was, uh, he didn't really want to argue with me. <laughs> it was Mateo. And when I was there with Yvonne and I we bought him, I ordered him. Yvonne was with me, and I remember me and Yvonne were thinking, should we just tell him I want him in a giveaway? Or should I just tell him you gave it to me? So me and Yvonne were thinking, like, should we tell your husband you got it on a giveaway you won? Or we should tell him you, I gave it to you, <laughs> that I gifted to you? So we're just thinking, so when I, when, um, uh, Mateo got here, I just told him I want him in a giveaway. And he was really surprised. He's like, are you sure you want a baby in a giveaway? And I'm like, yes, I did. And yeah, I was so happy. So I pretended I didn't know what's in the box. But I knew what it was in that box <laughs> that day. But I pretended I didn't know. I pretended it was a, it was a giveaway prize. And I didn't know it was a surprise. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so I have hidden the fact of that. <laughs> But usually I never tell my husband if I'm getting a new baby. I I never ask him or never usually tell him. Which I know it's bad, but I just, you know, in the moment if I just feel it and I want it, I go for it. And then I kind of tell him, oh, what do you think about this sculpt? And he will be like, oh, I don't like it or I like it. And then <laughs> I'm like, well, because I'm getting this baby. So he kind of already knows the way I do it. But he doesn't say anything. But I'm pretty sure with Mateo, he knew it wasn't like a prize. He probably knew I purchased that baby. <laughs> but he never told me anything. He never said anything about it. Okay, so the ninth question. Never have I ever had to stop filming a video because my reborn lips or head fell off. That one, I would say I have never. But, okay, I had an accident with her, but I wasn't filming when this happened. I was getting her ready to film a video. 
So I wasn't already filming, so that's why I say I have never. But before I was in the video, I was gonna get her ready. I was that's when I first got her. I was gonna change her really quick. And when I was changing her, her head fell off because I guess the zip tie was a little bit too loose for her. And especially because she has a really soft final. So that zip tie was really loose. And I remember I was changing her and I went like this to her. You know, like when you change her, the diaper, like I was going to take the pants off. And when I went like this, her head just fell off. <gasps> My heart. Heart, you guys fell like oh I couldn't believe it I was like what am I supposed to do so I right away call Yvonne and I'm like Yvonne her head just fell off can you help me she's like oh she's like it's okay but Yvonne didn't have zip ties she's like I'm out of zip ties so she's like we're gonna have to figure it out but I put her head back in there so I stayed there but I just had to be really careful with her so I couldn't change her on video because if I did, I was afraid it was going to fall again. Because I had to go online and order the zip ties. So I went to Bountiful Baby, ordered my zip ties, and I did express shipping. I paid the extra to do the express shipping because I was freaking out I was going to fall again. And I could I didn't want to take her out or anything because I was too scared. So I called her body and I told her what happened. She's like, don't, don't freak out. She's like, it's okay. It happens. It can get fixed. But it was really scary. But we did get the zip ties and then we fixed her. And to Yvonne help us fix you, huh, mama? And now uh, she's all good. <laughs> we have not had that accident ever happen again. My last question here. It says, never have I ever turned down buying an outfit for myself due to the price, but paid the same price for a reborn outfit. And that would I would say I have never done that. I just have not. The reason being because. Usually when I buy stuff for them. It costs me cheaper than what I pay for my own clothes. So I have never done that. I always. And also because when I go shopping like. Like I say I go shopping in general so I. I know I'm going to buy something for me at a certain price and something for them at a certain price. So I have never turned on an outfit for myself to buy one for my babies. And maybe I'll do it one time. Who knows? But so far right now, I have never. And that was all the questions, you guys. So we're going to let you go because... This little cutie pie needs to go take a nap already. You already had your bottom mamas. You have to go take a nap. She's so cute. So we're going to let everyone go. And we're going to see everyone tomorrow. Have a great day.